This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Well, that's nice to know. What else is around here? What do you suppose this one is? Data shows this is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. You don't say. Self-defense. Interesting. Yeah, we're not going down there. Not right now. Not today. I know it's down there. I don't want it. Yoink. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Satisfactory. This is Frogman, and today we're going to do a little bit of goofing around and hopefully a little bit of, uh, I don't know, building or whatnot. I've kind of let the factory run for a little while, and we've got a few things going. We've also expanded slightly on the iron plate production, mainly because we needed a few more iron plates. And I did reconcile the problem with the concrete producers over there because I went ahead and grabbed that third limestone deposit tied it in over to those constructors and now they're each getting exactly what they needed and we went ahead and split them up and merged them and did all the fun stuff that we should have done the first time but anyhow here we go here we do we do a few things i did spend a bit of time in between episodes or actually probably what you guys are going to see as far as the time lapse and collected a whole bunch of just random junk that is locally to us to include enough stuff to produce a whole lot of extra biomass or bio whatever it is we've got a whole container full of it practically now and uh, well, I mean, there's plenty more in my inventory, and that's basically always a good thing to have way too much fuel. So, what are we going to do today? Well, before we get too terribly crazy into getting into a few things, I want to try to move a few things forward as well. So, part of gathering up some of the equipment that we got is that you guys might have seen it, is that we got a couple of more things to research in the MAM. So, a couple of those things are going to be that we have quartz and sulfur and I want to get right after the quartz because I found a bunch of quartz so let's go ahead and research that and start doing this tree so quartz is going to be an interesting thing because it's going to allow us to do a couple of things and later on when we get to this point where we can make this stuff um, this is even better stuff so we'll go ahead and research this as well I found a whole bunch of little bitty quartz nodes just laying around so that's awesome we now got some more quartz crystal oscillators Crystal oscillators, awesome, wonderful. So the quartz crystals, we're actually gonna be able to use those for something, at least for decorations as we get along. So let's go ahead and get after the silica as well. Just, just let's knock out a few of these real quick things because we found them. Those two things right there, they're gonna be able to be usable for decorations for us as we go on. And this is going to be a kind of a mid-tier piece of stuff that we're gonna be able to make. And I did manage to find a little bit of sulfur too. And I think we can actually research this one Yes, which is going to allow us to have gunpowder. Now, gunpowder is going to require a pile of sulfur and some coal. So we're going to save on those for a little while and not really worry about it. The other thing is, is we have these two lines up here. So let's go grab some alien organism parts. Let's start with the carapace. Now, yeah, let's start with the carapace first. Since we've got all these bugs, let's just start with the carapace and get that over with. So this will require four and require one of those in research in three seconds. And that will allow us to open this line up, which will be biomass from a, a from the alien carapace. I know that sounds kind of silly, but there is a lot of those around, and eventually we will have so many of those, we won't know what to do with them. So it's something that as we continue on, it's actually easier to kill aliens for fuel than it is to harvest wood for fuel. So the same thing goes here. We're going to need a few more of those. We're going to get need to get a little bit better weaponry in order to be able to make that work. So we're going to put all that stuff away. That's cool. Found a few things laying around. Uh, the bauxite, again, we can't do a thing with bauxite right now. It's going to be a long time before we can do anything with that. So what I want to do, and keep saying so while you're at it, maybe you'll get so far, so far on. Let's go on. We need to do this. Let's clear up our inventory just slightly. The factory is continuously running, and we're doing well. I just want to open up my inventory a little bit. What I want to go do is there's a couple of things in here that we need to be looking at right off the bat. Probably mainly going to be obstacle clearing. 
Obstacle clearing is a way for us to get solid biofuel, which is an even better form of biofuel or biomass kind of thing. And it will allow us to be able to gather things up a lot faster because we'll be able to get a chainsaw. Chainsaw is necessary to do a few other things. The other thing here is, is the awesome sink and the awesome shop and the color cartridge and the build gun customizers, all those kinds of things. One of the problems, one of the things I want to do right off the bat is I want to start sinking the highest tier stuff that we currently own right off the bat. I just, I want to just immediately start putting stuff in the awesome sink because we need those coupons so that we can unload some stuff. And we will talk on that later on for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about. So what I want to go do right now is I want to go find some Caterium. The thing is, is I do believe now that we found a small node of it, we should be able to actually scan for Caterium. I know where it's at, but I'm going to show you guys how you scan to find things. We press the V key, and the V key opens up this radial menu that allows you to search for the various things that you've currently found. So, had we not, you know, if had we not found the sulfur, the raw quartz, and the Caterium ore, these would not be here. The only things we would have would be iron ore, copper ore, and limestone. So we want to find out where there's some more Caterium. Watch our HUD up top. Watch the compass. It's going to be, I think, right there. Right there. Okay. 852 meters in that direction is the first node of Caterium that we're going to be able to mine. This is the reason why I like this area because of the fact that almost everything around here, it's a distance, it's a distance away, which means you can build factories away from your other factories and not have to worry about it. So we're going to run in that direction. I kind of generally know where it should be and we'll hopefully not get turned around. Now I do, since I'm here, want to take care of this little structure. And I think we might not be able to open it up yet. But this is a crash site that will have a utility, or I should say, a, a resource for us, as well as all kinds of resources around the outside, along with these annoying critters that you kind of have to... Where's his friend? You stay over there. You're just going to keep running circles around me until I can get you lined up. Thank you. More carapace. Sorry. Are you stuck? You look like you spawned poorly. Yeah, I think you spawned poorly. Poor guy. All right, well, we fixed your problem. These are things that, as a person playing this game, you need to be looking for, mainly because of the fact that we just got some pretty high-tier stuff. So there's a modular frame, and we got an encased industrial beam plus some cable. Normally around these crash sites, you're going to find stuff like that, and you're also going to find things like a drop pod. So this needs 200 or 21 rotors. We're not able to mess with this just yet. But what we can do, or for that matter, we can mark it if we want to. Well, since it's in our backyard, I'm not really going to worry about it. We're going to leave it sit right here. We're going to come get it eventually. But what you do is you put the required material into this little slot. You open the door, and you get a hard drive. And we'll deal with the hard drive when we get one. So let's go find our Caterium. Yeah, I really got to get better at that, especially going uphill. It's not the easiest in the world. You see anybody? Let's do a scan. I know generally where it is. It should be right there. Yep, right there on top of that rock. All right, cool. And it looks like we have some more sulfur on the way. So early, early on is not a bad idea to kind of collect this stuff as you see these because they're definitely usable, especially like say these little nodes like this one where that, that's how you're gonna find certain things like this early. And Caterium is something that you wanna find early. Ow. The best trick with them is just to kind of sidestep them as they come after you. Or hit them. Heh, <laughs> one of the two. Ow. Later on, we'll get a little bit better at this. Whack. There you go. And what are we doing that for, you ask? Well, well, we're going to do this. 
This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. You don't say. Alien organisms, power slugs. What do you suppose a power slug does? Well, a power slug... allows us to do overclocking of machines, which is fantastic. And for that matter, we're just going to go ahead and toss those parts in right there and start that research. And what that's going to allow us to do as we play around with things is that's going to open up a little specific spot in a machine down here that will allow us to overclock these machines, but also adjust their productivity so that we can better suit how things function. Again, still looking for stuff, but we're always going to pick up whatever little things we find until we have everything organized that we want. Sulfur, we're going to need a bunch of, we're going to need coal. Those same nodes, the same nodes for coal show up occasionally or the little rocks like that. But I want to go over here and get a whole bunch of, hello, gentlemen. The only problem with this is you get further and further away out here, you get these guys. Ow. Ow. Can I eat a little bit, please? We're not going to die. Just got these stupid pigs. Where is the specimen? What are they what, what are they protecting? Oh, it's over there. I don't want it. Y'all stay right there. Of course you're going to come over here. Nope. You are so lucky Ow. You found this most valuable artifact. All right, well, I'm not as good as I used to be with that thing. There, get out of my way. We're sitting here trying to do things and I'm getting sidetracked. We need parts. We need on top of this hill. Now, the, the one of the many things around especially you have to kind of pay attention to as you're wandering around is you want to stay out of that kind of stuff until you can actually do things. That is poison gas. It will make you sick. So, or well, it'll kill you basically. We need up there, but we need to do it in a fashion that is a decent way. So I should actually be able to do, say, this. And part of the zoop thing is the, the there is the ability in this to zoop now. So you can click and then do down. Or we can do, give me this back. Building these has always been a pain. You can definitely zoop these down if you're playing the base game. Or you can use... The cool little mod that I'm using to build down to the ground. And then we can go up here and see what we got. And I think, if I recall, there's going to be bugs. Hi, bugs. And a slug. Hey, that's cool. We'll take another slug. Come on. Pop. Hate these things. As soon as we get, as soon as we get the next form of protection, it's going to get a lot easier. I really want the bombs, to be honest with you. I'll just blow them up. Eat some stuff. Ow. Where do you go? Come here. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go toss down a portable miner right here, and then we're going to, well, portable, several portable miners. I think I need to actually make a couple. Where is it? Production of equipment workshop. Give me two of these. And then we're going to let them mine for a little bit, and we'll be back. So I want to make sure we get a big old handful of this stuff. 
The analysis of overclock production is complete. Please choose a new node tree to begin more research. So what's so important about that little function is that we'll be able to see here in just a second. If I grab any one of these machines now and we say iron plates, this opens up a clock speed functionality. Not only can we overclock the machines, but we can underclock them. And by thing underclocking, you can actually get perfect efficiency or perfect pr production off of various lines of materials entering or leaving the things. So it's an easy way of making sure things work. And when we're at this early stage where we're, all we have are those generators that really kind of suck, uh, it helps quite a bit with how you need to work with the rest of your stuff. So we're also going to go ahead and toss in another one of these power slugs so that we can do the blue one. So I should be able to do all of that. Actually, no, that's just slug scanning. I think we'll hang off on a for a second there was something that i just grabbed we need a bunch of this to do the ingots that'll be three seconds thank you quick wire inventory slots both of these are going to need a bunch of stuff i want down in these nodes right here this is a technology electronics tree that you really really need to work on in order to be able to get some really really good stuff out of so we're going to go ahead and produce a little bit more of this stuff i need to build a bunch of things and whatnot and continue on grinding out a little bit more so is there something else we could do here quartz is uh no power slugs can i do this I need more quartz, power slugs, we could just throw a slug in there. I'm not interested in wasting a slug right now, so how about we do some food scanning? Go ahead. And that should do that. That will unlock this section that needs to be unlocked once we find all the rest of the foods. Object added to the object scanner. Thank you, wonderful. And I need some more of those. We're going to have to kill some more things. So let me do a little bit more work here, and I will be back doing a little bit more stuff. I believe 50 is what we need to do the next thing, correct? 50 is the Caterium wire. Give me that, please. Awesome. Wonderful. That'll open up that and this, which is going to be Caterium wire. This is a zip line thingy. These are fairly cool once we get to that point. I need 10 more of those. I'm going to go ahead and just continue to grab a bunch of this, I think, and we're going to kind of head back towards the base here fairly shortly. Because the next few things we're going to need to work on are actually going to require a little bit of time. I do kind of want to achieve something in the Caterium line, but I think for now we're going to go back to base and, well, at least back over there and let these guys just kind of chill. And we'll go from there. What I can do actually is probably build a real miner and just let it kind of pump into some things, but we'll come back shortly. It won't take long. A container and this can I fit it? And then another container. All right, little down and dirty Caterium quick wire manufacturing product thingy here really quickly. Basically, all we're going to do is just uh, feed that into the back of one of these smelters, let it produce the Caterium ingots. It's going to, again, get fed into this constructor so that it will make the quick wire, and then we can go about doing a little bit more of our business. This is the way starter bases tend to kind of look, and I mean early starter, early, early, early starter. You just end up with stuff skewing all over the place until you decide to finally get after what you want to do, which we're going to do probably starting over there where that line of foundation is I stuck in the ground so that we can kind of figure out where we want to start. So what is going on? That guy's low. That's because that's full. That should be good. That'll make some of the parts. So let's see what we can turn in. We should have had plenty of time to sit back and do a few things now. So this is going to require all of that. Let's go ahead, select that milestone, knock that out. Part assembly is very important. So I do actually probably need to grab a little bit of that and a couple hundred of that and 500 of that and 200 of that and 300 of this beautiful let's go unlock part assembly that will allow us to do some very cool stuff so click 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 
And I thought I grabbed all of the screws I needed. Hello? Screws. Place. Go. Screws. Iron plates. Part assembly. Gimme. Milestone reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. So that got us a new lookout tower, which is fantastic. Actually, I think that came with the organizational one. Uh, that will get us the, this is stuff we haven't looked at yet either. All of this is here. This will be here. That got us the assembler. And I believe that's it as far as the rest of this goes. An assembler is a machine that will allow us to... Hello. That that There's the bug that I don't care for that the game does, and I just did it again. An assembler is... Uh, we need rotors. We're going to have to start crafting rotors. Rotors are something that I can definitely work on by hand. Let's see. Rotors are... And for those of you that don't know, you can use look it up by pressing certain things. Rotors are very simple to look at. I believe all we can do right now is the bone stock recipe of iron rods and screws so iron rods and some screws let's craft a few rotors and I think I need to craft a few of the plates as well but those will allow us to actually how many do we have five where are the rotors hello rotor go ahead and make a few of those real quick while we're at it all right so we should have enough stuff let's go take a look at what an assembler does an assembler is just a bigger machine that takes two ingredients and turns them into one and they have a really cool animation and it's really kind of fun but in here it gives us the idea of what we can actually produce now so technically now i don't have to handcraft reinforced iron plates anymore i don't have to handcraft rotors anymore and i don't have to handcraft modular frames anymore now we haven't had to have a reason to make a modular frame yet because we haven't had a reason to build something that has required a modular frame to construct. But neither here nor there. Let's see how we're doing. Do we have any quick wire? Can I get to the right area? Ow. Arm smacked me on the head. 200. Let's see if how much we need. I forget what it is. Caterium, quick wire, electronics. That one. Start research. Confirm. You guys knew where I was headed with this, right? <laughs> How many of those did we get? We got seven. We need to craft a couple of modular frames, which I should be able to search for recipe. And we need to go ahead and do that, which I think we only need a couple more of those to get the research completed. And then we can have one of our favorite toys in the world. I cannot live without these things. Please research this go thank you these are blade runners blade runners allow you to jump higher and run faster and take less fall damage when you fall off of something they're fantastic and for a player like me that likes to hop around and not try to get around things it's exactly what I need to do so let's let that sort out and we'll let the factory run and accumulate a few things actually what I may do is take one of these assemblers and plug them full of some of this leftover stuff and have them create something so I'll see you guys once that's done well that just landed let's go see what we can do while we wait on that to finish we should have plenty of parts to be able to do some things what do we have next obstacle clearing jump pad or research bonus let's do the let's do the resource sink yeah, because I don't feel like crafting a bunch of those. Select that milestone. Give it some concrete. Give it some stuff. Give it some of these. And we need a little bit more of both of those two. So iron rods and some iron plates. Iron rods, iron plates. Just keep these rolling. Milestone reached. You have been given early access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on exoplanets bonus program. I love that. Funneling parts into the awesome resource sink, depending on their amount and complexity, will grant you coupons in the awesome store, which mm -hmm. can be exchanged for bonus rewards. Yep. Examples of bonus content are parts, walls, factory attachments, and cosmetics. 
Fixit is working hard to develop additional options, which will be added to the awesome store in the future. Go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. That, ladies and gentlemen, unlocks the way we get all of the fancy little fun stuff that exists in the game. And like I said, I want to start immediately start sinking our most expensive products wherever we can. So, uh, let's do the fun part. Special, awesome shop. I need some more screws. I do kind of like this part compared to how some other games do this this is this is again an advanced set of research it's not necessarily research it's a way of sinking in more time to make things so that you get all kinds of fancy stuff like structural architecture things special wall types to include glasses straight things and t t tilted stuff special floor flo hat whole floors for things and wall outlets and foundation types and organization and more things signs lighting wiring control fix it specials this is the end game that's the end game as far as i'm concerned being able to purchase everything in the awesome shop if you can do that you're awesome customizer we're going to be getting after these just as soon as i can because those foundations that we currently have cost us metal every time we build them the concrete foundations here don't so uh equipment we can buy a coffee cup or beacons this is one of those parts that I see a lot of people do in here. They allow you to purchase various parts and materials and equipment. This will show up later on with more stuff as you unlock it using coupons. Don't waste your coupons on it. Just make the factory. So let's see what we got for that. Now some Blade Runners. Blade Runners take. We need 50 Caterium wire, three of those, and three of those. Let's make us some fancy booties, and then we can end the episode. That'll make me really happy, because that means I can start building the platform for our factory. We need three more of these, which I can't make because I need some more of those. Do we have any iron on us? We do make a few of these. Go. I think I just needed three, right? Make them all anyway. We need them. We'll use them for stuff. All right. And Blade Runners. Yeah. Thank you very much. Craft them. Come on. Automatic. There you go. It's like 20 hits. Do it. Ah. Sweet. Put those on the body slot. And I finally can run like I want to. Oh, I love the jump. It's so good. It's one of my favorite things in the whole game. Because once you learn the hip scoot functionality of sliding across the sand, you can really cover a lot of distance just as quickly, practically, as most of the vehicles you have in the game. So, awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to quit it right there. We got a few things done. We got a bunch of Caterium stuff unlocked. We got a, the assembler unlocked, and this is currently making must plates for us. Awesome. And we're going to move forward. Next episode, I'm going to start building the platform. We're going to start laying this mess out. I'm going to let this run and accumulate a whole bunch of parts because we're going to start unlocking more stuff. I want to unlock the next set of logistics, and then we're going to go to town, and we're going to start playing Satisfactory. So I'll see you all guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.